Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the polarity reversal protection circuit. As you can see here, I, I used one simple circuit which is having P-channel MOSFET and some external components like we have here Zener diode and one resistance. Okay, so I will explain how this circuit works and I will show you in the simulation okay if if your supply voltage is plus 12 volt what is the output and at somehow if you reverse the polarity of your your supply voltage what is the output voltage okay so before I start explaining this circuit let me explain you why do we need this circuit if we if we have some lower cost solution already available in the market okay so what is the lower cost solution so let me come back here to show you okay so you can see here we have here only the genera we have here only one one rectifier diode d4 and you can see i have used here same supply and i have used here same the load that is 12 ohm so if this circuit can do the same job and this is also a low cost and effective cost solution so why do we need a circuit which is having p channel mosfet a zener diode and one one more component that is resistor so let me explain the disadvantage of this circuit okay so instead of choosing this circuit why i have chosen that circuit circuit with the MOSFET right so let me run the simulation for this circuit and show you okay so if you see here I'm going I'm not going to show anything here you can see the current is around 883 milliampere the voltage you can see here 10.6 volt okay so your input is your input is 12 volt and your output is 10.6 volt and let me show you the power dissipation across the across this this diode so you can see here the power dissipation across this diode is 1.23 watt that means the forward current and the forward voltage multiply and it dissipates power in the form of heats okay so that is power loss your input is 12 volt and your output you are getting 10.6 volt and rest of the voltage rest of the voltage is being dropped by forward voltage drop of this this diode and it is also multiplied with the forward current of this diode and that becomes a power dissipation of this diode and which which dissipate in the form of it okay so this this is general purpose diode so let me uh, you you may remember the power dissipation for this circuit it's 1.23 watt and let me pick up one one short key diode let me say this okay let me say this some higher current rating short key diode let me say this 3 ampere right okay let me run again simulation for you for you you can see if you use if you use this short key diode even your power dissipation is even your power dissipation is 333 milliwatt okay and you can see your output is quite better here it's 11.665 volt so you can see if you use a diode for your polarity reversal protection you if you use general purpose diode you have higher power loss if you use a uh, short key diode even if you have some lower power loss but it's higher so what i was trying to explain you if you use so this circuit i have shown for less than one one ampere current and if you want to design it for five 5 amp, let's say 5 ampere current 4 ampere current even for higher current you can imagine what is going to happen with this diode and how much power dissip uh, this diode will dissipate in the form of heat 
okay so so this is main disadvantage of this circuit you have a higher losses you have high, uh, lower efficiency and you have high power dissipation so that is why that is why that is the reason i used this circuit with p channel mosfet okay so here you can see i use one p mos ao6407 and the same load resistance value this is the generator diode which is 4.7 volt and one resistor i used okay you can see the features of this mosfet that is vds minus 20 volt id minus 5 ampere and you can see different different rds on okay so let me first explain you how this circuit works and then i will run the simulation for this circuit and i will show you the power dissipation of this this right power dissipation of this circuit, this mosfet okay so how this circuit works uh, you may wonder this is p channel mosfet and i am not sure if you you might have been seen the p channel mosfet is connected in this configuration right so how it works is your 12 volt supply comes here and if you know about the p channel mosfet so in the p channel mosfet let me draw you for you so you can see there is a body diode so let's say this is the body diode and it is connected likewise that means its anode is connected to the to the drain of this mosfet and your cathode is connected to the source of this mosfet so since i use this from the lt spice library it's already connected so i may need not to connect external body diode okay so what happens is let me explain you let me go back and draw this circuit for explanation purpose so what happens is this 12 volt supply since this anode is in the higher potential so it comes here uh, dropping the diode voltage okay and you can see your source voltage is v2 minus this diode voltage drops let's say it's around 0.5 volt so 11.5 volt appears here across the source of this this p channel mosfet and since you have this gener diode that is that is for 4.7 volt so you can see the 4.7 volt test drop across this the gener diode and rest of the voltage will be dropped by this resistance r2 your source to gate voltage is now around minus 4.7 volt and you can see a, you can see this mosfet get turns on and current start flowing through this and if you if you reverse the polarity of this power supply what will happens is this mosfet will not get turns on and there is no power supply appears at the output right so let me run the simulation and let me show you the waveform to prove my theory what whatever explained until now right so let me run the simulation okay so i will child window vertically and let me first show you what is the gate to source voltage for what is the supply voltage you can see the supply voltage is 12 volt what is the output voltage you can see the output voltage is around 11.96 okay it's very higher and if you want to see the current it's around you can see also it's around 1 ampere current you are drawing here and if you want to see here so gate to source voltage i will show you the gate to source voltage which is coming minus 4.3 volt that means your mosfet this mosfet is turned on and you can see the current flowing through this load resistance and and let me show you the power dissipation for this mosfet i will double click on here and you can see the power dissipation for this mosfet is given by 32.6 milliwatt and which is very less now you replace the general purpose diode or short key diode with mosfet and you can see here you can see here immense effect that means your power dissipation is very come across this mosfet
so basically what i wanted to explain is uh, i wanted to explain you guys here if you use the mosfet it will improve the efficiency of the your circuit that means you you have higher output voltage and current at at your output and you have lesser lesser power drop dissipation across this this mosfet uh, which will dissipate in the form of heat okay if you are going for the higher current application let's say you are your need is your ask is 5 ampere current so this circuit is very useful and it can uh, you can design your circuit you can choose the mosfet as per your design specification and you can use this circuit okay if you want to design it for 5 5 5 ampere application so you might need to change this mosfet why because this mosfet is only can output you 5 ampere current so if your output is 5 ampere you may go for like 12 ampere or 15 ampere or 10, 10 ampere mosfet you have to change this mosfet but if you are using like 2 ampere like 1 ampere 1.5 ampere 2.5 ampere you can use directly this circuit for your application okay so so i hope you guys have understood the polarity reversal polarity reversal protection circuit by using mosfet and what is the advantage of uh, this circuit and now i will i will i will show you another function of this circuit that means i will reverse the power supply and i will show you the behavior of this circuit so let me reverse the power supply that means your positive terminal is now connected to ground and your negative terminal is now connected to the train of this mosfet let me run the simulation you guys okay and i will tile the window vertically right so if i want to show you the voltage across this node that is in nano volt that means very less nothing else I want to show you the current that is in nano ampere and if i want to show you the voltage across this train gate to source it is around somewhere around nano volt if you want to show you the input voltage that is minus 12 volt that means if 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 at the some point of time in manufacturing or during your development if you have connected your power supply wrongly that means you have connected positive terminal to negative and negative terminal to positive in such case your circuit will be safe and nothing will get damaged okay because there is no power supply which is appearing the output of this mosfet since there is no power supply no damage can be seen and this circuit is very useful if you if you're going for any battery application circuit or any dc powered circuit okay so this is very useful circuit you can you can build this circuit you can play with this circuit and you can mod customize or modify this circuit as per your design requirement okay so i am done for today thanks for your patience if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video guys